guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. How's it going? If you're thinking about order reading, now would be a great time. Um, especially now that I finished my book, there's a lot of ideas that seem to be coming out that I never even imagined. Uh, seeing pers different perspectives and yeah, I feel really connected and yeah, so it's a good time to order. I also wanted to mention that um, the prices are going to be the same as last year. They haven't increased. Uh, and if you are a patron, you will also be getting a discount as well as returning readers. So please just let me know uh, if you are, and then I'll figure out the prices because I haven't really factored that in right now. Uh, you will be getting a discount though. Um, what else did I want to say? And thank you guys for supporting me with the book. You guys are making this happen. You guys made the cards happen. You guys made the channel happen. And you guys made the book happen. So what I've learned <laughs> over the past two years is just mind-blowing um, and it's because of you guys and so thank you thank you so much I love you guys so much and enjoy this week's Twin Flame reading right cheers hey ladies welcome to this week's yin reading for January the 18th until the 28th so hopefully we get a little bit of clarification there that energy was quite heavy and um, very confusing um, what should we do for you? Let's do an elemental reading. So, what didn't I use the last time? Let's use the enchanted map. So this will be for your soul. Actually, I, I can't do an elemental reading. Um, let's do a Celtic wing. Okay, so we'll use this for the present position and I think I'll use um, the smaller cards for the rest of the positions so let this is um, oop, which is tarot so the past and the foundation Okay, so this is the Gilded Rider Weight, and this is for what you want. Okay, this is the Easy Tarot, and we'll use this for the Crossroads and Resisting Position. Okay, and the Tarot Luminati is for, sorry I'm getting positions all mixed up here, this is present, present card's kind of throwing me off, alright, so this is for the internal and external. I'll make sure they're on camera. Okay, so I'm missing a couple of positions here. I also have, what is this? Um, oh, I got another card in there. This is the search for the unicorn. So this will be for what you will get. And the summary outcome. And let's do another Dorian Birch here as the final outcome. And 
I'm going to use the bottom of the deck as well. All right, so let's begin with the bottom of the deck or the overall energy. Chemistry again. So this was a card that showed up for how the feminine felt about the masculine. So as an overall energy, um, there's you feel very attracted to the masculine, a desire to connect with him on an emotional level. Okay, so let's have a look at that card, and I'll just read it over for you. I just skimmed it earlier, so apparently Spirit wants me to read it, so let's do that. Okay, so you've received this card because you feel a strong dynamic pull towards another person. In other words, you share chemistry with him or her. This creates an intense, pleasurable sensation that draw you to each other. If this person is someone other than your partner in a committed relationship, then the chemistry is probably a source of both stress and escape. You'll need to weigh your options and the consequences carefully before or instead of leaving your current partner or embarking upon an affair. If, however, you are single and feel this pull towards another unattached person, then this card brings you a go-ahead green light uh, of good news. Most likely, the chemistry is mutual and merits exploration. In some cases, this card may mean that a lack of chemistry is a cause of, uh, for relationship issues and personal discontent. If there was chemistry initially, it may be restored by devoting effort to the relationship. Passion, sparks, and romance can be revi revived through playfulness, thoughtfulness, time together, and caring gestures. Call upon the romance angels to guide you as you make important decisions about channeling this chemistry. Okay, so there you go. Channel the chemistry, look at your options, see what the consequences are. And this is almost, you know, remember there is this energy of you feeling like you're being tempted. Maybe there's an outside force, another relationship that is pulling you away from the twin flame connection. Um, yeah, so follow your heart. All right, so let's see what's in the present position here. Wishing well. So this is sending out positive seeds of intention, um, desiring something, and then dropping it into the wishing well. And um, allow destiny, allow you know, source to put the pieces together so that it comes to you like the serendipity. Oh, no, actually, you didn't have the serendipity. I'm getting these cards mixed up. Um, yeah, so the present position is the feminine is wishing for something, um, putting out positive intentions in, in this moment. So what are you standing on, feminine? Conflict, five of wands, competition, um, feeling like you don't have enough courage or strength in order to overcome these challenges. So what you're standing on is instability, fighting. Um, somebody wants to take your place. Um, actually, you haven't even got that, that position yet. You're desiring to be in a more powerful position. Okay, and so that intention has been seeded. What is in the past? The shadow side, so this is the devil. And look at these two people, there's something crazy that happened, triggering, you know, it's almost like they're together and there's this dark force coming towards them and they're hiding from it. So the recent past, that coupled with the conflict card is a very dark period of time but that has ended and the feminine although she feels torn apart and you know beaten and battered by this experience she is hoping for something more positive or something good to come of it okay 
Okay, so let me actually adjust the camera. Sorry about that. I forgot about that. Hopefully it doesn't pop out on me. Okay, so what do you want? Eight of Cups. You want to walk away from something that has been <clears throat> emotionally draining you. Um, so this is this could be somebody who's manipulating you emotionally. Um, you're tired. You're you're exhausted. You just don't want to have anything to do with it anymore. So you're willing to leave these eight cups behind. This is also a spiritual journey. So the feminine wants to move on from an emotional blockage. That was also a theme in the Twin Flame reading. Get in there. Okay, so I'm going to skip over to what you are likely to get. So if you stay on this path, this is a likely outcome. Oh, it's in reverse. I don't really read reversals, especially when it's a deck that I don't really know that well. Uh, but this is the Ace of Wands, Ace of Rods. So it's a very powerful card. Um, it is, you know, a spark of inspiration. Remember that was um, the outcome or the message from the universe in the Twin Flame reading. Um, this is a, a new start, a creative idea, a kundalini awakening, a message, um, some type of illuminating message. So this is what you will get. And so because it's in the reverse, it showed up in the reverse, it's like you need to take a hold of that wand yourself, take power and control. And here, this was catching my attention. This person's holding a wand in their hand. So what you will get is an opportunity to move in a new direction away from all this negative conflict and fighting start a brand new that is what you want to do you want to walk away from it but you need to take that wand into your hands and move in that direction all right so let's move to what are you resisting the chariot exactly right you're resisting taking control of your life and moving forward with confidence power strength but you've been tested. Um, you don't feel ready or worthy. And so the universe is saying, um, do what you need to do. Find the strength and the courage. So it's an outward exertion of energy. And so remember the solar plexus card showed up uh, in terms of how she felt about the masculine so there is definitely a power blockage there, as well as an emotional one. What's going on internally? Wow, the Eight of Cups again, same card. So, you, yeah, you want to walk away from something. You don't want to be emotionally manipulated anymore. It's a hard decision to walk away. Internally, you feel like you really need to do this what you want. You're being drawn to this magnetic energy up here, but you're viewing it as a temptation, I don't know, because this is the same card, temptation, right? The devil. So what is surrounding you and your external? There's that Queen of Pentacles again, same cards popping up. So the masculine actually got this card. Um, it was how he felt about himself and it's kind of ironic that it's showing up in the feminine surroundings so this very much could be the masculine being open to sharing his life in 3D um, being generous with his time, energy She's got grapes in one hand and a pomegranate and surrounded by abundance. Okay, I'm just going to pull one card for a clarifier. Ace of Pentacles, new start, seed was planted. 
right? That seed of intention is already out there and has manifested as a new start. The Ace of Pentacles will grow into the Ten of Pentacles in time, but the offer, the opportunity is there, right? So this could even be a new job as well. I'm just throwing that out there for some of you. But it has that quality, that feeling that, you know, I almost see this as the boss offering this opportunity for you. Um, but I'm also really making that connection with this is the masculine's energy, wanting to share um, a homey environment in the 3D. There's that offer. Can you see those cards? Sorry, move it a little bit more. All right, so crossroads position, the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, this is readiness, ripeness, um, feeling like you've accomplished so much that you've arrived at your destination. So there will be a feeling of contentment, and this is also a card of self-love. It has something to do with the 3D. Nine is completion of that. So this could even, you know, go, be going on vacation or taking a trip or, but just indulging in, in life's pleasures in the 3D reality. I'm going to pull one card. What the heck? King of Swords. So this could be an air sign, but this is mental clarity, making a decision to cut negative out of your life, um, have a meaningful conversation but he also takes action as well so I see you cutting away the past being clear about your choice and gaining freedom and independence you know and it could just be that feeling in the 5d of this freedom it doesn't necessarily have to mean it happens but you have that clarity about it in your mind um, that freedom is a possibility. But it's like you make that wish and that wish becomes manifested. Okay, so what is the summary outcome? Oh, okay, so the whole deck was in reverse. Um, the Hermit. So the feminine has been disconnected. She's been on a a spiritual journey she's been looking for answers repeated theme so this is somebody who seeks solitude because they take comfort in it or because they need to be alone in order to process something or discover some deep meaningful answers about life so they find their own internal light so they can help others out of the darkness so as a summary outcome the feminine has really you know it, this is also a spiritual journey right it's a desire to disconnect with the 3D reality, cut their ties, stop fighting the chaos, leave it all behind, find your independence um, as a hermit. Final outcome. Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. What is that? There's something nagging, something pulling at you. Pay attention to red flags as the final outcome. So you don't trust somebody. Page of Cups. So this is a desire to communicate. This is a muse, so it's a very, you know, romantic energy communicating. Uh, sending messages, writing poetry. Pay attention to red flags. Um, I think the me the message here is to stop being so afraid and be in a, a place of love. I'm almost waiting for the message from the universe in order to really 
feel into these cards. Again, the, the message here is kind of vague. There's something in the external environment that is really tugging on the feminine in a negative way, playing with her mind and her emotions. So I think let's, um, you know what, I, I always feel connected with the Miss and Mermaid, so let's use these. This card is calling to me. Nautilus Angel, number two. Nautilus Angel. I think that's about withdrawing and looking after yourself. I picked up the deck and there's two cards left behind, but I had my eye on this one for some reason. Okay, so let me be your angel. I'll watch over you with all the loving tenderness you gave to help me through. Let me hold your head up. I will guide your way, the way you led me through the maze when my steps went astray. A delicate angel with brown feathered wings lovingly embraces a shell of a nautilus. Though her eyes are wide with concern, the protective cradle of her arms suggests a true sense of guardianship and care. Now, that's what I was kind of feeling with that temptation card, you know, feeling like she needs to protect her treasures or just feeling vulnerable about everything. So it says, be prepared to accept help from others. Right now, you have a lot on your plate, and it's getting difficult to tackle it all on your own. Striving to be independent is admirable, um, but we are all social beings and at times must rely on each other in order to thrive. Remember how you know, her fear position, there is that social anxiety, you know, feeling confused and kind of withdrawing as a hermit. So maybe you think asking for help is a sign of weakness or you're afraid of being a burden. Just remember all the times you have given your help and advice and recognize that your loved ones will welcome the opportunity to reciprocate by allowing others to support you uh, physically or emotionally, you are contributing to a beautiful cycle of giving and receiving and allowing someone else a chance to experience how rewarding it is to do something nice for another. So accept help. Allow others to help you. And there's that opportunity right there. Okay, so right now you're the hermit. You're disconnected. You desire independence and freedom aloneness but the message to the card is to stop worrying about the 3d reality and connect with other people all right so i do hope this helped uh, please like share subscribe and leave a comment all right cheers